X-rays, CT scans and MRI scans are routinely used to evaluate patients with spinal pain. Certainly, when there is cause for serious concern, these imaging techniques can provide valuable information that can help rule out or confirm certain pathologies and can aid with prognosis and treatment planning. However, for many back or neck problems such as mechanical back pain, where there are no signs of a serious problem such as cancer or severe nerve damage, there is usually much and in some cases more information that can be gained from a good and thorough case history and physical examination. It is often wise not to rush or be rushed into unnecessary procedures that may be expensive or even harmful. This is particularly true in the case of X-rays. X-rays rely on radiation to create an image. Too much radiation can be harmful. Three X-rays give you radiation equal to the natural background radiation received in one year. Therefore, even one X-ray is too many unless there is a good reason for having one. X-rays also have their limitations. They only show the bones of the spine and the spaces where the discs and nerves exist. They do not show the actual discs, nerves, ligaments, muscles or any other soft tissues of the spine. Within the NHS, GPs and consultants can be guilty of unnecessarily and hastily requesting x-rays instead of a more expensive but more relevant investigation. Their actions are often driven by waiting lists and budgets since x-rays are usually cheaper and available more readily than other imaging techniques. Patients are often not allowed much input into the decision-making process or not given all the information about radiation risks or other options that may be available. CT scans use a series of x-rays that build up very precise three-dimensional images. The radiation involved is very high, about the equivalent of 300 x-rays. CT scans are only used for serious problems where precise images of an injured area are essential prior to surgery. If your doctor, therapist or specialist wants to send you for an x-ray or CT scan, it is worth asking them what information they hope to gain from the procedure and whether this is worth the risks involved. You might also want to ask about other options such as alternative, less risky scans that will reveal the same information even if this means you have to pay for them yourself. Although they have only been around for approximately 20 years, MRI scans are at present considered one of the least harmful ways of imaging the body with no known side effects to date. MRI scans are able to show all the tissues of the spine including the nerves, discs and muscles. MRI scans can even show up areas of swelling and inflammation for example, inflamed spinal ligaments resulting from arthritides or in cases of trauma such as whiplash. However, this finding is not easily discernible on a standard MRI unless a special fat suppression sequence known as STIR or T2 fat sat is used. It is worth noting that most MRI centres do not use STIR or T2 fat sat unless the referring clinician specifically requests this on the referral form. At the National Back Pain Helpline, we work closely with and can advise on centres offering affordable MRI scans from £200 per area. We also offer a second opinion service whereby you can send in previous MRI scans or X-rays that will be reported on by our own expert musculoskeletal radiologist. You will also receive suggestions for further imaging where necessary. Please see our website for details www.nationalbackpainhelpline.co.uk